How's it going boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome to another triple feature video. Unfortunately. This one's my own fault though. This show had the courtesy of ending on an even number, but I was stupid enough to make the whole first episode its own reaction video. So now I'm stuck here at the finale having to react to three episodes instead of my usual two, and just praying I don't blow my voice out by the end of this. And considering how horribly depressing this show has been lately, I'd say we have a high chance of that happening. So let's get into it. Powie? Yo, Denji and Power's friendship is so adorable. I like how they've become friends by the sheer fact of being the two stupidest members in their division. That's upsetting. That is a very small amount of time. Also, seems unfair considering the curse didn't even kill his enemies. I feel like he should get a refund on those years. God, they can't even animate a character smoking without it being the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Can I not be upset for one episode? Did we really have to animate every frame of his sorrow there? <laughs> Denji, you're starting to turn into a real Katara over here. Not every emotional crisis has to be your emotional crisis. In all seriousness, I do love that Denji's like dissecting his emotions here. It's cool to see him struggle with not crying over a friend's death and like worry if that means he's emotionally broken. I also like seeing him be like, you know, I probably wouldn't cry if any of my friends died. Does that, does that make me an awful person? Which is such a teenager thing to think, because in reality, you have no idea until it actually happens. Like, for example, in high school, it used to really confuse me when people would get, like, emotionally devastated over a breakup. Like, I had a girlfriend at the time, and I remember thinking, like, you know, I'd be sad if we broke up, but it wouldn't, like, destroy my world or anything. And I thought that made me an emotionally detached person, and it freaked me out. But then I got dumped, and it was, like, the most earth-shattering thing that had ever happened to me. I just think this is a really realistic and relatable portrayal of a teenager responding to other people's crisis. Oh, let's go! The 40-year-old E-boy is going to be training them. This is the most tired-looking man on Earth. They gave this dude crow's feet and bags under his eyes. This is the most brutally realistic depiction of an adult I've ever seen in an anime. Oh, looks like somebody's a hugger. All right, <laughs> too much hugging. <laughs> this dude told Makima he'll handle their training and then 15 seconds later proceeded to break both of their necks. That's that alcohol strength right there. That's like when you visit your hometown and your buddy comes up to you like, why don't you ever visit home anymore? Because I hate this. <laughs> Yeah, she asked you to train them up, not fuck them up. Nice, Power's taking a strong stance against alcoholism. Between that and Denji's abstinence, this show's almost educational. stabbed so fast his blood took a second to be like oh my god okay i guess we're leaving this dude I'm glad I'm finally watching an anime that just admits its protagonist is immortal. I don't love an immortal protagonist but if we're gonna have one I'd rather we just be honest about it.
It's weird seeing this badass psychopath talk about the toy collection he had as a kid. Cool. Okay, but if that did work, this whole place would be destroyed right now. Maybe don't test out your giant dog summoning abilities inside of this hospital. Cute matching face scars. You guys look like the demon hunter versions of Plusel and Minen. So, Kakugo. Why are these two bullying Aki right now? Dude just lost his devil contract and love interest, and these two are like, you know that feeling you have in the pit of your stomach right now that tells you you're useless? It's called being useless. Yeah. <sighs> What is happening to Denji? I can't tell if he's being possessed by the lamb devil or trying to cry for the first time in his life. <laughs> Bitch, you are giving him more wounds! Power, I'm all for your anti-alcohol propaganda here, but I don't think you and Denji could outwit a dumpling. Oh, never mind, we got fucking glasses up in here? IQ plus 20! This doofus doesn't even stand a chance against these poindexters. Look at this fucking buffoon! This dude doesn't even know what's about to hit him! You look stupid, bro! You look straight silly right now! How's it feel looking goofy, foolish, synonyms? Oh, never mind, he's boxing their trap. Yeah, I forgot if there's anything that can beat a nerd, it's a bully. Oh my god, he kicked the smart out of him! <laughs> God, this guy is hardcore. Oh, that's so cool. They've got a whole cellar full of devils to make contracts with. What a metal system. Oh my god, hey, can we not have Himino's sister give Aki a bunch of depressing letters to read? That'd be great. If we just didn't do that, it'd be my favorite part of the show. Read it out loud, please! That was embarrassing, I couldn't even read that if I wanted to. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Take away the subtitles. This is super sad. Is Aki limping or has he always walked like a pimp? This is so sick. Aki's gonna get powers from the future devil? I feel like the future devil's gotta be rad, right? Mirai Psycho! Mirai Psycho! Mirai Psycho! Yeah. Yeah, the future does rule. This guy's alright. Yeah, Aki. How else is he supposed to see your future? <laughs> Could you not dance while his head's inside your gut? Is this sex? What am I looking at here? Sick. Awesome. That blows. Can I have some time to get over Himino's death before this show tees me up for another one? You two are really getting in each other today, huh? 
ここの下には秘密兵器がいる。Oh yeah, I forgot this started off as a show with zombies in it. Absolutely wild thing to introduce and then immediately drop. じいちゃんのお気味上げ。借金を返せないクズどもで作ったゾンビ軍団だ。ゾンビに噛まれた人間はゾンビになる。Yeah, dog, obviously. That's like zombies 101. この沢渡りって女が来るわけでな。この女を仲介にうちの若いやつが騙されて、銃の悪魔と契約しちまったらしい。Oh my god, this really is an after school special. We've got Denji teaching kids to save themselves for someone they love. We've got Power denouncing alcohol abuse. And now the villain's a girl who gets kids hooked on gun violence. w a i t for Sonic to zip in and be like, hey kids, that's no good. ここにいる皆さんの父や母、おばあちゃん、おじいちゃん、兄弟、姉妹。Oh, is it gonna be like a bunch of photos of their family members?Big mafia power move, Makima. 恋人、奥さんの目です。Oh, is it gonna be like a bag full of their eyeballs?Big psychopath move, Makima. <笑> This dude's own body was like, you take another step and I'll kill you before she does. Okay, we are not fucking with this woman. Zombie! Zombie! <laughs> Demon! There's a shark fiend? This one's my favorite. I don't even need to see the rest. This guy's head looks like a pool filtration system. He's like a cute little anime shark boy. Fucking hell! Yo, his head is a shark and he can swim through goddamn walls! He's the best character! Okay, but aren't all fiends technically violence fiends? Punching hard? That's his ability? They all do that! Oh, I can get on board with the Spider Devil, though. We got a shark and a Spider Devil here. This is like a SWAT team from Halloween Town. No fucking way. Perfect. This character is the perfect bit. The Angel Devil. Genius. よく僕に近づけるね。触れられたら寿命短くなるのに。Okay, well, is that something he should be worried about? You asked him for a handkerchief, not a blowjob. It was sort of implied you wouldn't suck out his life force during that transaction. <gasps> She stole Himino's ghost? Is this show almost done hurting me? I love how you can see him trying to get used to the power while also desperately trying not to die. Like, his face is the perfect mix of focus and fear right now. It's so good. Oh my god, this is the worst last face to see. Brief episode transition while Aki chokes to death. If you guys like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you'll get access to tons of content while also helping out the channel immensely. You get access to exclusive reaction videos not found anywhere else, exclusive access to my private Discord server, and access to all of the live stream recordings I've made in the past and will make in the future. But if Patreon's not really your thing and you still Want bonus content while helping support my channels? Make sure you check out my second channel, Honestly Brutal. There I upload video game and movie analysis videos that are still funny, but not reaction content, so it doesn't really fit here. Both the link to my second channel and my Patreon will be in the description below. And now, let's get on with the show. I don't know, look at that, the show still hurts. Oh, stop! <sighs> oh, no! Oh, so wait, is this the ghost doing him a solid, or is this Himino hooking him up from beyond the grave? Himino senpai. Oh, oh, 
Oh, stop. So beautiful. So unbelievably good. Oh, no. Oh, oh that's so good. Oh my god, stop. This show is so brutal. What's so impressive is that this show's fights aren't necessarily anything crazy. Some of the fights are. When Denji fought the Bat Devil, like, that was sick. But, like, the fights themselves, choreography-wise and stuff, aren't, you know, top-tier anime fights. But what makes them so memorable and so good is the context around them, the animation quality, the music, and, like, their impact on the story. All of those surrounding factors are so good that, like, it, it makes these fights some of the most memorable shit I've ever seen. Like, for real, like, days after seeing episode 8 of this show, still sticking with me. Still so good. And it's, like, hardly a fight. Heavy! Korosna. It's kind of wild that Aki's the one who defeated Himino's ghost, but this girl is the one who defeated the girl who killed Himino. Although, actually, I guess technically, Himino's ghost is the one who killed Himino. Oh god, wait, shut up, this show's so good. <laughs> Can somebody get this girl's brother a goddamn scholarship already? Also, I hate that they're called public safety. This group of highly trained demon hunters should not have the same title as the kids at my college who patrolled campus with minimal authority. <laughs> meat do be meat, though. <laughs> Oh, Denji, what the hell? She entrusted her back to you, dude. What the hell, Denji? She just wanted you to see how cool she is. Oh, that sucks. That's so, that's so sad and so adorable of power. Yada. Oh, fake hand! Wait, is that how he activates his transformation? Like, instead of pulling a ripcord, he just, I guess, I guess takes his hand off? Let's go! Train fight! There has never been a bad train fight in cinematic history. Spider-Man 2. Demon Slayer, the entirety of Snowpiercer. Trains just make for sick battlegrounds. <laughs> and she's gotta learn some kind of ranged attack. Tana had shown up to the fight with actual special moves, and all Denji can do is flail. Or he's gotta learn some kind of defense. He can't just be like, hey, 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 stop! Anytime an opponent readies up a ranged or fast attack. <laughs> Um, I still see one more chainsaw. Oh, that's called thinking with your head, bitch! Oh, goddammit, his head! Oh, let's go! Chainsaw legs, baby! That's called thinking with your legs, bitch! Kesatsu is goofy, lovable Denji about to mutilate this guy? You know, it's times like these that I'm reminded that Denji was raised by the Yakuza. Holy 
Holy shit, is that Himino's theme unreversed? I think the song that plays during Himino's death is this song in reverse. And if that's true, I'm gonna fucking cry. All right, I've got them all pulled up here. We're gonna figure this out right now. Okay, right, it's clearly some instrument being played backwards. I thought it was an organ at first, but I think I think it's a backwards piano. They sound so similar. Now here's it in reverse. Oh, I can't tell. I have no idea. Hold on. I think so. I think they're the same. I can't tell though. I can't tell if they're not the same or if I've just, if they're just different parts of the same song, but it is reversed. Let me know in the comments. Here's the evidence. <laughs> He may know up in heaven like, Is somebody kicking a man in the balls in my honor? <laughs> you hate to see it. This goddamn cigarette has had the most emotional fucking arc in the entire series. And that is Chainsaw Man Season 1. Oh my god, without a doubt one of the best anime I've ever seen. Which is annoying, uh, because as you guys know, I hate agreeing with popular opinion. But it's just, it's so good. It doesn't get there until the hotel segment though. The first episode's kind of disappointing, it's okay, but like it's a setup episode, so like it gets a pass. Then when Denji gets to the Bat Devil, it starts to like kick into gear, like that episode's really cool, I'm really into that. But when they get to the hotel, that's when this show like really hits S tier. The hotel like mini two episode arc is so cool, it's so great. I talk about all the reasons I love it, in that episode's reaction, so I won't get into it more here. But then, like, from there on, it just, like, bangs every episode after. Episode 8 is, like, genuinely one of the best episodes of television I've ever seen from beginning to end. Like, not even just the ending. And yeah, man, I just love it. I know some manga fans, like, don't love this adaptation. I hope all of them are ignored. I'm sorry, I don't usually say stuff like that, but, like, I don't want this to change at all. Maybe I'll check out the manga and just see like what the difference is like, but like, <laughs> dude, this is like a perfect first season. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the anime. Are you disappointed manga fans? Are you relieved manga fans? Did the anime make you want to check out the manga? Let me know down below. And I will see you guys next time.